Today's video is going to be a weekend in my life video and before the video I wanted to come on and do a quick little disclaimer. So I realized tensions in the country are really high right now, um, all the protesting and coronavirus and like things are just crazy and I realized that this video is very like upbeat and happy and I'm definitely not trying to ignore anything that's been happening. My family and I have had this trip planned for so long so that's why we still decided to go ahead and do it. It definitely wasn't just like a random like spur in the moment, let's just go to Florida type of thing. Like no, we had this plan. So I just wanted to say that and I also want to say that like if you need anything, please don't hesitate to um, reach out to me and like comment in my comment section. Like I will be there for you, trust me. I understand that it's been really emotional for um, everyone the past couple days and like especially for the black community like i will be there for you please don't hesitate if you have anything you want to just talk about like i'll be there for you and yeah um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos if you would like yeah let's get started <laughs> So to start off, my weekend family vacation is just me waking up feeling super tired and I remember we had to wake up at 7 and I haven't woken up at 7 since like high school but I just started off by brushing my teeth, washing my face, and doing my regular morning routine. Next, it was time to get dressed and I decided to go with something really cute and comfortable for the trip. So I chose this romper and here I am doing this cute little transition and bam, I have my romper on. <laughs> but yeah, um, I love this romper and it's so cute. Next, it was just time to pack up some makeup and some extra things like that. And yeah, I just went ahead and packed up all my extra things into my backpack and next it was time to just tidy up my room a little bit before I leave so I just made my bed and yeah. <laughs> So now it is time to pick out the shoes I wanted to wear and I knew I wanted to be as comfortable as possible so I went with these shoes here and I made them. I put the little cheetah print on them myself and I love them so much. They're so comfortable and so cute and yeah I got them from Walmart if you're wondering. So we finally ended up hitting the road on our way to Tampa, Florida and here's just some clips of us riding in the car and it took us about four and a half, five hours to get there but it was a really pretty drive. So once we arrived in Tampa, we drove around my brother's college campus that he's going to in the fall for a little bit and then we decided to just go ahead and check into our hotel for the night and after we went to the hotel and got a little bit settled, we went back out and got on the road to downtown Tampa which was so pretty and we drove into the city and it was just so gorgeous and I didn't know Tampa was so big but yes we got out and we walked around for a bit and we went on this like river walk bridge thing and it was so pretty like the sunset was out um people were running and it was just really gorgeous and I wish I lived in Tampa
So after that, we went back to our hotel for the night, and the next day, we hit the road to my brother's college campus and drove around for a little bit more and we got to see more of the campus and more of like the main area that all the classes are going to be in and it is so pretty like I seriously am considering transferring to University of South Florida because it is just so gorgeous and it was such a nice day too so yeah I liked it a lot and um since covid and everything there wasn't many people there and it was honestly pretty empty so we got out and walked for a little bit and it was just really nice so after we finished at ucf we got on the road again and we were finally heading to the beach which i was so excited about and we passed by orlando florida which was so big i didn't know orlando was like a really big city but yeah and then we drove through this like bridge thing and the drive was so pretty like it was so gorgeous look at that how could you not love that and yeah i love florida so much So we finally made it to the beach and it was pretty funny because this random boy was throwing sand at my brother and it was so hilarious to see this like two year old chase my brother around but yeah um it's okay we found his parents and everything but yeah we made it to the beach and it was so pretty there's my mom and it was so pretty I love the beach especially the Gulf of Mexico like the water is just so clear and blue and I was in heaven I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> So after we went to the beach, that was pretty much the end of our day and we went back to the hotel. But the next day we headed out to St. Augustine, Florida. And St. Augustine is apparently the oldest city in the entire US. But yeah, we drove around and we saw these really cute houses. Like I wanna move to St. Augustine now because the houses are so cute and it was just really pretty. And we just drove around for a little bit. So after driving around for a little while, we finally headed to St. Augustine Beach and I really didn't like it as much as the beach we went to the other day, but I still had fun and it was so incredibly crowded, like there were so many people, but it was still a good time and yeah. So after we went to the beach, we drove around St. Augustine even more and visited Flagler College, which is the most gorgeous college campus I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at that. It's literally like a palace or something. So while we were still in St. Augustine, we drove past the Black Lives Matter protest they were having and um, it wasn't really a protest, it was just kind of them like with posters on their cars and things written in their cars and it was so amazing to see so many people like involved in it and I really appreciate it and I loved it. So lastly, we went to Jacksonville, Florida and stopped at this outlet mall. And if you're in a big family like me, you know that outlet malls are the place to be. And I just visited the American Eagle clearance store and it was so cool. They had 
everything was under $15 and I had so many jeans and like clothes to choose from and um, this was the only place I went to and we didn't really stay for long because we didn't want to get COVID or anything so yeah and here I am just showing you guys some of the things I tried on and some of the things that they have and I highly recommend it So after we left the outlet mall we just went home and that was it for my trip and i had so much fun and i hope you guys like this video have a great day bye